this batch of 14 films has, has got some that I think are going to attract a, a lot of attention. Um, I've just looked at two, Snowtown by Justin Gazelle. Tell us a little bit about that film. So this is based on the sort of notorious um, bodies in the barrel serial murders that, that took place a number of years ago just north of Adelaide in the, uh, in the northern suburbs. Um, it's obviously very sensationalist subject matter that's been explored a lot uh, within the tabloid and uh, mainstream media. Um, this is a very complex exploration of, of those, those murders and, um, and I think it's going to be a very good film. I've seen a couple of cuts of it now. Um, in this film, the, the story is explored through the perspective of a boy, Jamie, who was 16, um, living with his family in, in the suburbs, in, in poverty stricken, quite, quite a desolate um, suburb out there. And this young boy was desperate for a father figure, he was in a couple of different uh, abusive, sexually abusive um, situations. Uh, and John Bunting came into his family and became his protector, just when he was really looking for a father figure. And of course, over a number of years it became very apparent that John Bunting was protecting him by in fact going out and killing uh, people he saw as evil evil pedophiles or evil potential pedophiles and then killing people who he thought would then potentially risk dobbing them in. Um, and so what we see is this boy being drawn into this world and becoming implicated and in fact being actively involved, um, as, as are a number of his family and friends. So I think it's a very interesting film. It, it's asking us, well it forces us to look at and examine how this could have happened. It's a series of unspeakable crimes. What was the context that allowed this to happen? And, and I found it fascinating because despite being from Adelaide and of course reading a bit about the, the, um, the crimes, I actually knew nothing about the reality of what had gone on. Um, but I also think what's quite interesting about the film is that I think for me it, it gives you kind of in microcosm in a very specific intimate situation and, and an insight into how quite, quite kind of normal people get, get pulled into a world where they are quite freely murdering their neighbours and of course we see that on a grand scale happening in different places all over the world and it seems unimaginable. Uh, and here you have a, an exploration of how that happens in a very specific way. Um, obviously there aren't entire parallels, but I think it forces you to examine some really kind of basic questions about human nature and, and where our moral codes get lost. Uh, the other one, uh, well, there's many of interest, but uh, Bob Connolly makes a return to documentary making after a decade. Mrs. Carey's concert. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that and his return. Yeah, look, this is a this is a really beautiful film. Um, Bob's uh, made this uh, with his partner Sophie Raymond. Um, she's uh, she and he have worked uh, for 18 months uh, in a very observational style. Uh, in this film, uh, they get into the music department of MLC, which is a very exclusive uh, girls' private school in Sydney. They, their music department is led by a woman called Karen Carey and every two years they do a concert at the school and uh, in MLC style, it's at the concert hall at the Sydney Opera House, very kind of grand. And, um, what's specifically interesting about this film I suppose is that Karen Carey has the very highest expectations for her students at this concert and we're not presenting a kind of, you know, normal school concert, we're seeing a concert with very, very high standard of classical ranging from full orchestral works to a lot of chamber works, quartets. Um, there's a choral involvement which includes all of the school and then the rest of it is, is kids specifically going through, through this music department. What I really love about this film is that, you know, it's, it's A, it's about kind of great teaching and, you know, uh, which is really inspirational. B, it's about, it's about music and the kind of power of music. But it's also about teaching girls at a really tricky time in their age, uh, you know, in their lives, you know, they're 15, 16, 17 years old, then hormones going everywhere and a whole lot of really complex things going on in their lives. How do you as a teacher steer a kid through that? A child who shows incredible promise musically. Other kids who aren't interested at all. And how do you deal with those kids? And, and the, the filmmakers have quite extraordinary access. The trust that they've got 
from the participants in this film. The stuff that they capture in camera with the with the protagonist completely unselfconscious is just wonderful. Um, I grew up in the Marietville High School. I, I went through the music department there, so for me, it's also particularly interesting having <laughs> that, that experience myself. Yeah. And I think a lot of you know, a lot of people in Adelaide will, will find it pretty interesting, just given we have a number of music departments across quite a broad area. I think, I think it's I think it's really interesting.